It's Not What You Got by Dr. Wayne Dyer. It's Not What You Got, Lessons for Kids and Money and Abundance. Number one, it's not what you've got. Some people think that you are what you've got and that your toys, clothes, and car really mean a lot. These things are fun, there's no denying it's true, but the things that you own have nothing to do with you. If you took them away, what would there be? All the great things about you that are harder to see. Number two, live within your means. There's an important lesson about money that you should know. You'll hear it over and over as you grow. That lesson is don't spend more than you make. Using money that's not yours can be a big mistake. So when you dream of living large, buy only what you can afford. Accept what you have at this moment, the rest you are working towards. Number three, it doesn't matter what they have. Some kids have whatever they want, all kinds of fancy stuff. You might get mad, want what they have, and think you don't have enough. There will always be people who have more than you and some who have much less. Being jealous of what anyone has will get you in a mess. It's a waste of time and energy to let these thoughts inside your head. Turn the page and we'll tell you what to do with these thoughts instead. Number four, it, you have the power to get what you want. There's an incredible power that you possessed. Do you know what it could be? It's the power of your mind to make something from nothing, to create your reality. To make this work and to get what you want, you must dare to believe that wealth and riches of every kind are yes. something that you can achieve. Is that a horse? Uh, That's right. <laughs> So imagine, no. I guess I'm more like a lamb. Is that mommy's car? Is that a beetle? Buggy. That's right, beetle. So imagine the things that you will do, be, and have down to every detail. Never give up or let others bring you down. Positive thoughts will always prevail. Number five, money does not create happiness. We live in a world where some people say that to be happy, having money is the only way. But you'll never be happy simply because of what you own. You can have mountains of money and still feel alone. There are those with little money whose lives are rich as can be. They know that the important things are those you can't buy. They are free. Number six, every job is important. Some jobs are glamorous, exciting, and fun, and others are not, but they still need to be done. Each job is important in its own way, whether you're the president or shoveling hay. So when you're on the road to making your dreams come true, yes. see each job, that's right, horse, as a blessing, a part yes. of what you must do. Horse. <laughs> Wait, that's a lamb again. Yay! You say, yay! Try it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Number seven, follow your own dreams. People will ask you, what do you want to be? And you think, a dog walker, an artist, a star on TV. Some of those you, may, some of those you know may try to steer you their way. They'll say, this job is much better, or that job doesn't pay. What you do to earn money is your decision to make. It's your life, so you decide the road that you take. Number eight, there is plenty for everyone, including you. When others you know have more than you do, you may start to wonder if there's enough for you. There's a word called abundance. Have you heard it before? It means when it comes to life's gifts, there is always more. I can't read. So remember this big word if you're ever in doubt and know the great things in life will never run out. Number nine, you earned it, enjoy it. When you work hard at a job and you do your very best, you may earn more money than some of the rest. You can share some of your fortune with others in need. Giving to others is kind and generous indeed. 
But never feel bad this, that you have what you do. This, Take pride in your work and the rewards that it brings you. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Certainly. Number 10. Abundance means more than money. We all know that money can buy lots of stuff, but having money is not nearly enough. There are riches to be found to no end on earth. Your health, great friends, just think of what they're worth. Love, laughter, and fun, all these things you can't measure, and believe it or not, they are the real treasure. You see the puppy? And then at the end of the book here, you'll see that there is about five or six pages of good quality questions that you can ask your son or daughter um, about money. For example, do you understand what the word abundance means? Does it make you feel good to know that things that you like, love, joy, fun, laughter, and even money will never run out? Yeah. Um, lots of awesome, good quality questions at the end of all of Dr. Wayne Dyer's um, children's books. What I love most about Dr. Wayne Dyer's children's books is not only do they give impeccable, awesome lessons to children um, about abundance, growth, and universal laws, but they also, um, they help you because I acknowledged that, sorry, I was just kind of readjusting myself. I'm, I'm looking into my phone here and recording on my phone where I can see myself and I'm like, oh, I could use a little bit of, uh, <laughs> of a change here. Yeah, I know that one's your favorite, isn't it? Oh, this is I think I am. Louise Alhay, um, I think I am. It's okay, it's not great. Uh, I know that I'm jumping topics just because she jumped, uh, gave it to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a quick briefing of it. All right, come here, come here, my love. Um, yeah, Louise Alhay, I think I am. Um, it's a great book about affirmations. My favorite part of this book is just this page right here. And I read it phonically to my daughter. I say, affirmation. Words that you think or say and believe to be true. Um, and then it goes on to show children how they can turn negative thoughts into positive thoughts. When I read it, I actually just omit out the negative. Um, I just don't think it's necessary. So that's my review, my quick um, bonus review on Louise Ells Hayes, I think I am. She enjoys it. She's stimulated by it. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just don't think the negative part is necessary. Um, but you know, it might be, it might be a little bit more, um, convenient for older kids. But when you're just teaching a young child about thinking for themselves and their own self-talk, I just don't think it's necessary. Um, so that's my quick two cents on Louise L. Hayes' book. I'm going to let you go now because she wants me to read this book, and I really want to do a review on um, It's Not What You've Got. Will you let me finish my review on It's Not What You've Got? Um, yeah, so Dr. Wayne Dyer's books are awesome. Um, the read on this, I was just basically demonstrating that it's never too young to start children um, teaching them about money. I use this as a springboard to her getting her own um, piggy bank. And now she's learned how to um, say thank you for receiving money into her world and putting money into her piggy bank. It's been um, a glorious springboard. It can help solve a lot of money issues that may can't come up for parents in the future um, based on like greed. I know when I was a kid, I was actually a spoiled child. And if I had this knowledge when I was a kid, things could have been very different. I know that my future, had I been given this type of knowledge um, at a very young age, could have been very different. So that's my two cents on It's Not What You Got. I hope you enjoyed the reading of it. Um, yeah, have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!